Good morning students and welcome back to Alchemy Online Classes. Students, in our previous class, we learned about how Vasco de Gama has discovered a sea route to India, why he came to India, how Portuguese have established their foothold in India and why they went back from India. So student, tell me who was last Mughal emperor in India? Bahadur Shah Zafar was last Mughal emperor in India. Second, what was named Cape of Good Hope? Why? I am repeating my question. What was named Cape of Good Hope and why? The answer of this is Bartol Omu Diaz originally named the Cape of good hope because it represented the opening of a sea route to the east. And my third question is when did Vasco da Gama sail to India? That you all know. In the year 1498. Now students before we start adventure of Dutch and French, we will repeat, I will read again the adventure of Portuguese and then we will start learning about adventure of Dutch and French. Adventure of Portuguese. Portuguese attract towards India because of their spices. They established the first European fold in the year 1503. In the year 1510, they conclude Goa, which became their headquarter. But Portuguese could not expand their business or influence on India because in the year 1580, a Spanish attack Portugal and they have to left. But then also Kochi remained in their possession until the, it was won by Dutch. The Dutch came on an attack on Portuguese in Kochi and they have to leave Kochi also in the year 1663. 1663. So student we have learned about the advent of Portuguese in India. Now we will learn about advent of Dutch. Advent of Dutch. Java and Jakarta in Indonesia were established as the station for spice trade by the Dutch. India acted as a port on their way to Europe. In India, the Dutch set up their factories and settled in Kochi, which is now known as Kochi. In Kerala, Bhimutpanam in Andhra Pradesh and Nagapatnam in Tamil Nadu. So student, we learned that Dutch attack on Portuguese in the year 1663. And how Dutch came to India, Java and Jakarta, this were established in Indonesia for the trade of spices. And they were using India as the as port on their way to Europe. They are using India as a way to Europe. In between Indonesia and Europe, they are using a port in India but soon in India they set up their factories and settle in Cochin and then Bhimaputra Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu also. So they came to India and established their factories in Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. So they came they 
establish their foothold in India and remove Portuguese from India. This was the journey of Dutch or we can say advent of Dutch. Now we will learn about advent of French in India. Students, now I am going to read advent of the French. The French East India Company was founded in the year 1664. To establish themselves in India, the first French company was set up in Surat in 1667. They also found factory at Pondicherry on Coromandel coast. Many settlements were established at May, Musulipatnam, Surat and other places. So this is the advantage of France. Students, we have seen that earlier Dutch were they are trading with Indonesia and they are using India, India port as their midway to Europe to Indonesia. And after that they have started a factory in Kochi. After Kochi they have started in Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So this is the way Dutch spread it in India and established their foothold in India. Students, we have seen that that first French East India Company was established in the year 1664. To establish their foothold in India, they have established their first factory in Surat in the year 1667. After that, they established their another factory in Pondicherry at Coromandel coast. After that, for many places they have established their many settlements. At that time, when Dutch and French were trying to establish their, themselves in India, British has already established their strong presence in many parts of India. When Dutch and French people were trying to settle themselves, British were already settled in many places of India. So, in the race of Portuguese, Dutch, French and British, British was, was win the game and ruled the India for many years. After too much struggle, British emerged victorious in the race of gain control over the trade in India. And they established their first company, East India Company. So this is the journey of Dutch and Portuguese in India. We have seen that how Portuguese came to India, how Dutch uh, forced Portuguese to go back to Portugal and establish themselves in India and how French came to India and how British win the race of victory for trading in India and how he ruled in India. Later we will learn about British rule or advent of British which is for 200 years. So we will learn that afterwards. Now students, today your today's homework is you have to complete your worksheet 1.1 in your workbook. Worksheet 1.1 you have to complete in your workbook. It's all related to the topics which I have already explained. So read your textbook and complete your workbook worksheet 1.1.